Welcome to Cancer Newsline, your source for news on cancer research, diagnosis, treatment, and prevention. I'm your host, Dr. Oliver Bogler. We are continuing our conversation with Dr. John Mendelson, Professor of Genomic Medicine and past president of MD Anderson, and our topic is personalized cancer therapy. So uh, one way that we can find out whether a tumor is a good candidate for a particular um, precision therapy is through a biomarker. And you and your colleagues recently did a survey of uh, over 300 uh, phase one trials with over 13,000 patients. What did you learn about the importance of biomarkers? Well, so the biomarker in this case might be uh, the EGF receptor. If it's present on a cell and it's present on many kinds of cancers, uh, then that cell might be... uh, targetable uh, with the product we produce, which binds to the EGF receptor. But uh, in this case, uh, we were working very early with a particular uh, gene aberration. Now we can study uh, and ask for a list of gene aberrations in each tumor, and there may be dozens, there may be hundreds in some uh, lung cancers and melanomas, there are even a thousand gene aberrations. Uh, the new drugs that have been developed to treat cancer target uh, these, the products of these aberrant genes. Now, what do you do when a new drug comes out from a drug company and you need to test it in people? Uh, it goes through three phases. And the first phase is just looking to see if it's safe and trying to figure out the best dose to give. And in the past, when a new drug came out, We took patients with advanced cancer, any kind of cancer, and gave them this experimental drug. Uh, This required informed consent of the patient. It it required approval of the FDA. It's very carefully regulated for patient safety, which is very appropriate. And uh, we did these experiments, uh, and MD Anderson is a leader in doing this. Uh, We do this on a thousand different Uh, tests every year, the test being testing in patients a new drug. Well, now we have uh, a new wrinkle. We know what the target of the drug is. So uh, many uh, uh, researchers, clinical researchers, asked the question, well, if you give a, can we prove that if you give an experimental therapy to patients that have the aberration in the target of that experimental drug, will they do better than if you give the experimental drug to any patient with advanced cancer, which is what would have happened uh, before uh, this sequencing technology became available. And uh, my colleague, Rizal Kurzrock, did a meta-analysis. That means she went over all the publications of studies of new drugs that were approved by the National Cancer Institute and studied uh, in protocols that were approved by the National Cancer Institute and asked this question. And indeed, she found that if the experimental drug was matched to a patient in the way I've just described, the patient had a much better chance of responding to that drug than if the drug was given to any patient with advanced cancer. That's very reassuring because that says we're on the right track. It's a tremendous uh, advance. So what advice would you give on that basis to patients uh, with cancer who are seeking a clinical trial? Well, the advice we give our patients today is there are a lot of excellent standard of care therapies available today. And uh, when I was born, only a third of cancer patients live five years or more. And today, two-thirds live five years or more. And the majority of those are actually cured, although we can't guarantee each individual patient is cured. Uh, If you have been given a standard of care therapy and it's worked, uh, you don't need to worry about the genes. Uh, Go enjoy life. But uh, unfortunately, I said two-thirds. So one-third of patients uh, die of their cancer within five years. Those are patients where standard therapy has failed to achieve the goal we all want. And those are ideal candidates to have their tumor genes sequenced and to uh, volunteer, to uh, have experiments performed in which they receive uh, uh, drugs that are not yet approved by the FDA for general use, but are approved for research. 
uh, try these drugs out, picking drugs that target uh, the abnormalities in their tumor. And about half the time now, we're able to uh, sequence a tumor and find an experimental drug either here or at some other cancer center that our patients uh, can sign up for and try out. Dr. Mendelson, thank you very much for speaking uh, to our listeners today. Uh, you're very welcome, and you can tell I'm very enthusiastic about this this change in in uh, cancer medicine that has occurred. That's why it's called personalized. For more information, visit mdanderson.org. Thank you for listening to Cancer Newsline. Tune in for the next episode in our series.